Blake Volker from Astoria asks, now that there is no speaker, are we looking at a shutdown in November? Should I start figuring out how to lower some of my expenses so I have some money on the side to help them if it starts to get untenable? Well, you know, again, I am so sorry that we even have to have this conversation. It is not something that should even be a reality. And frankly, as you know, has not been a reality recently. Of course, there was a government shutdown uh, during the Trump administration, but um, in the last several years, there haven't been. It just simply has not been an issue. Now, in terms of saying, will there or won't there be a shutdown in November? I unfortunately cannot give you a guarantee either way, because as you noted of this speakership debacle. Now our hope, and we are fighting tooth and nail, just like we fought tooth and nail last Saturday to avoid a shutdown. But at the end of the day, we cannot avoid a shutdown without Republicans and without Republican, uh, the Republican ability to use their majority to help us avoid a shutdown. And so what I would personally say would, would be to prepare for the fact that this is a possibility. Now, the vast majority of government shutdowns have not lasted a long period of time. In fact, the largest bulk of them have been about a week. But once again, during the Trump administration, that, definite, that precedent was broken. And that shutdown had lasted about 35 days. It was the longest one in American history. I, of course, do not anticipate that. We hope that we would that this would that that would never happen again. Um, but I have to be completely honest and say I cannot guarantee that there will not be one, unfortunately, because um, Democrats don't have the votes to keep it open right now. We need Republicans to meet us in the middle. Um, and make sure that we can get paychecks to people.